so I got this bandsaw on Craigslist um, for a pretty good deal. Um, 350 bucks for a, a Delta 203. Um, it was built in 1989 and um, a couple of, of the rubber pieces on it need to be replaced. Um, I already put a new power cord on it because the rubber on the old one was splitting. Um, and the rubber on the tires are um, the rubber on the tires is getting pretty worn, so I'm going to show you um, an up close uh, picture of that. And I've bought some new tires to replace it. All right, so here's the upper wheel, and you can see most of the tire is is black, but where the blade uh, is tracking, the black rubber is kind of wearing off a little bit, and it's turning yellow here and and it is absolutely yellow on the edge which I think um, is not normal All right so down here you can see it's it's black in some parts but yellow in others where it's kinda of rubbed off um, generally speaking that upper tire looks pretty good except for the discoloration I'll show you the, the lower tire now okay so here's the lower tire and I'm not sure how much you can see but there are some small cracks in the rubber down here and uh, also the discoloration so I think you know this is my first first bandsaw um, so I don't know much about bandsaws at all but these look like uh, the tires need to be replaced to me Alright, so um, what I want to do is sort of give you a before and after of uh, what the saw is sounding like and cutting like um, with the old tires on it, and then I'll put the new ones on and, and do a similar cut to do a before and after. Um, so I'm going to start it up and just cut through this um, half inch plywood. So what I hear um, when the motor's not on, but when the wheels are still spinning, I hear some squeaky rubber uh, noises. Um, sounds kind of like when you're driving um, on, a, on a wet surface with low air in your tires. Um, but I mean, the, the saw's cutting pretty good as far as I can tell. I mean, I have pretty smooth pretty smooth cuts there um, so it seems to cut alright, it's just making some noises that I'm not so sure about. I think it's going to be smoother with the new tires. Yeah, so I went on Amazon and I bought these um, urethane bandsaw tires as uh, Mark the Wood Whisperer recommended so we're going to see if they work. First I got to get the old ones off. Okay, so as you can see, I got the, the saw unplugged, so I'm not going to do anything stupid here. Um, so I think this blade is, is nice and tight. You can hear this little tone when you pluck the blade. So I'm just going to take the tension off. There we go. I think that's getting pretty loose. So I'm just going to take this blade off and... Uh, take the wheel off too. I'll, I'll do that off camera. Okay, I got the lower wheel off now. That was a pain in the butt. Um, this tire's actually in worse shape. See a couple of holes in it, not just cracks. Okay, so the easiest way to get it off is just to cut it. I mean, it's useless now, so no point in Trying to save it. That got through. Oh man, that's just some worn out rubber.
a little bit of sawdust got underneath that tire. I guess because of the holes and cracks. So let's see, I think I'll do this one faster than the last. Let's see, I'm gonna stretch it. I've seen some videos online of people soaking these in warm water, but it's really not not necessary to do. Um, it's about as difficult as actually it's quite a bit easier than taking your tires off your bike rim if you've ever done that. You don't really need any tools. As it turns out, you just your hands. That one went on easier. Okay. Right, so that looks good to me. All right, now I got the new tires installed and um, a new blade installed, and let's see what else. Um, well, that's it as far as new stuff. Um, I hear a little bit of noise. The blade is somehow catching against this plastic blade guard, so I just stuck a little shim in there to reduce the noise. I'm gonna have to investigate. Um, what's causing that, but let's make a cut and see what's going on. Okay, so I have pretty smooth cut marks. Um, I didn't do a TPI count on, on the new blade compared to the old. It definitely went through easier, uh, fed through easier, but it seems a little rougher, so this, this might have more, uh, sorry, fewer teeth per inch on this new blade. It's an Olsen um, All Pro PGT blade, quarter inch. Um, I don't know. I just from standing here, uh, of course I just spent half an hour doing this, so it seems like it's um, running smoother. I don't know about quieter. The uh, blade scraping against this plastic is annoying. I'm going to take that off right now and see if I, or at least see if I can adjust it a little bit. Um, but anyway, so that's before and after with new uh, urethane bandsaw tires. Um, they're like 24 25 bucks on Amazon and um, you know, if you have a 25 year old bandsaw, I'd say go for it. Um, anyway, thanks for watching.